everything's white, and then when you turn the grill on, I freaking love that. Back at the A&D building, you guys know this is my absolute favorite place to play in New York. All the cool things in one massive building. Uh, so we're at the Fisher Paykel DCS showroom today, uh, and here is Brianna right here. I scheduled an appointment with this lovely person who we're gonna be keeping our distance from each other uh, to take me through the appliances that I spec. I really just wanna go through, understand all the finer points and quality pieces of these appliances and obviously share them with you guys. So the quality pieces and the technology is where you come in. That's right, good morning everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you don't mind, I'd love to start with the grill because yes. it's the grill. It is. It's definitely the rock Whoa. star of the line. Holy cow. See, this is my first time seeing it in person, mm -hmm. and this is why it's super important to take the time and book meetings like this. It doesn't cost you anything, but come and see these things in person. Um, so this is our brand spanking new Series 9 grill by DCS. Wow, these grates are serious. Right. So this is part of our works. It works with our grease management system. So these grates are cast stainless steel, so you can actually do bicep curls with them if you'd like to. <laughs> we have melded these channels into them, and these channels work in tandem with our grease management system. What will happen is your uh, grease will actually find its way down these channels and down into your very handy grease management system right here. So rather than letting the grease go all the way through here, light the, like give the burners an extra boost, burn your steak, everything gets channeled to the front and then down here. That's exactly right. That's amazing. <laughs> awesome. It's cool. And they're also reversible. So let's say you're cooking something that's a bit more delicate, okay. something that you'll want some more surface area, like chicken or fish or veggies. Right. You can actually flip the grate over and provide more surface area to come into contact with the food. So let's say you wanted it to be all grill, you can do that. This okay. we refer to as an accessory because it's your choice if you want to use it. So I'll remove these radial grates so we can take a look on the inside here. You can actually go ahead and manipulate these louvers while you're cooking to control the amount of smoke that's imparted okay. within, the, um, within the compartment here. But you you can also take this lid off completely and you can cook right over charcoal. Holy cow. My brain's spinning on the way I can <laughs> I can use it. That's yeah. really cool. Okay, yeah. really neat. Um, talk to me about this rotisserie because this is the yeah. most serious rotisserie I think I've ever seen on it's a grill. It's pretty serious. So as you see here, it has its own dedicated burner there at the back. Yep. So what we do is actually park the uh, motor as well as a dedicated light for the rotisserie on the outside of the grill. So you'll find that right here. So I can turn on my motor. I can also turn on my smart beam light. What? So you can get really great illumination of the surface even if you're cooking after dark. You can put up to 50 pounds on this rotisserie, so feel free to stack uh, it. Usually you just see a little a little shelf on the top of the grill. Absolutely, and a lot of times that shelf is really intended to be a warming area, which yeah. is great. However, what we did in the improvements made to uh, this now Series 9 grill, we went ahead and made this a very functional secondary cooking zone. So you can do, do full-on cooking here um, by use of these speed racks as well as this pan. Okay. You can actually move them wherever you like to. You know, you could do all of your sides here. A number of my colleagues have shared during grill events, they've actually baked in this pan. Because the grill gets down to about 300 degrees, you could actually throw brownie mix in here, cornbread, what have you. You oh, could do wow. beer brats in here because, again, it is completely yeah, sealed yeah, all the yeah. way around. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. You've got your underhood lighting so that way you can always see clearly what's the, going and this, on. Is it me or does it seem like it opens further back than a lot of grills? It does open further back. Mm -hmm. It's a full 90 degree open. It's a lot of space. Yeah. This feels like it's tilted a, just a touch forward. That's correct. And that's because of the grease, the, grease management okay. system. So this is grease management mm -hmm. and this is flat. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. We should take a look at the burner because this is really what makes DCS DCS. Okay. So this is a 25,000 BTU U-shaped gas burner. It is ported upward. 
So what we're doing, what we're allowing to happen is as much energy, as much heat as possible is going to make its way to the cooking surface. As part of, of our burner system is this ceramic rod tray. Ceramic itself is made at a really high temperature. It's a great conductor of heat. So when it collects the heat and distributes it, it does so very evenly. Almost, it almost blossoms off of the individual rods. So there's this handy multi-tool that you'll get with your grill purchase, and you can do a couple of things with it. You can actually manipulate the louvers here if you're using this as a smoker. What you could also do is place this into the smoker box top and actually lift the lid. So when it's hot, you're saying? When so it's hot. So if you hot. need to add more charcoal or exactly. more wood. What you can also do, when the, gr when the grates are cold, of course, you can actually use this to relocate a section of grill. Oh, that's nice. So you don't have to actually touch it with your hands. Hey, I dig it. We're not done just yet, so check this out. So you can actually turn the lights on, everything's white, and then when you turn the grill on, I freaking love that. Details, man. It's all about the details. So I think you have the refrigeration drawer I do, on. yeah. So. Oh, wow. So here with the double drawer system, you've got really nice compartmentalization, so that can really help keep things organized. Yeah. So you can have drinks in one, you can have your produce in another, you can have your bring your meats out when you're ready to start smoking. And it's stainless all the way through, it's stainless huh? Stainless all the way through. So beer in the top, and then beer in the bottom. And <laughs> <laughs> this I'm actually super excited about. This is one of my favorite pieces in the DCS line. Yeah. For those that don't know, this is a sink. But it's so much more than that because it's, in, it's insulated, which means you can fill this thing with ice and it's not just gonna melt and go down the drain right away, it's gonna stay cold. So think like your Yeti cup, like that's the way this basically works. So whether you want reachable beer sticking out or you wanna be able to put Prosecco, champagne, bottles of white wine, like anything that you want for, for a party, bottle-wise, you could just stuff, is that, that's accurate, right? That is very accurate. Awesome, okay. you, add, you add in your, your lime wedges and you're, um, you're pretty good. I like that you guys have like this speed rail attachment too. I mean, this is really handy as well, line up all of your liquor bottles. Well, I have a lot of friends that are bartenders, so you guys pay attention. I got a speed rail for you. Make sure you're bringing your skills when you come up to the house. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got a power burner that's gonna be going next to the grill. Those are not in the showroom, but we do have some tech that'll show it off. Yes. All right, I'm following you. All right. Oh, so this yes. This is our 84 inch <laughs> touch screen display. So this is essentially a living portfolio of every product that Fisher and Paykel and DCS manufactures. And there is our power burner. On the DCS power burner, you can achieve up to 70,000 BTUs. Oh my. It's God. quite a large burner. And that will boil water in like... <laughs> Probably nanoseconds. <laughs> My dad always used to do these great um, lobster boils and, mm -hmm. and clam bakes and whatnot. We yeah. wanted to be able to do big pots of shellfish, but not wait three years for the water to boil. Exactly. So this is the move. This is the product for that, absolutely. That is sweet. That is sweet. All right, so that covers it, Brianna. Can't thank you enough. Uh, love getting that information firsthand. A&D building, if you guys aren't familiar with it, it's on 58th uh, near Lex. So I am super excited to get all this stuff specced into the stone house uh, as it gets delivered, as it gets hooked up, as we turn it all on. There will be a lot more to come, uh, focusing all things outdoor patio, kitchen, and cooking appliances. Thanks for hanging, guys.